Memory is an essential issue for our society and for every one of us. Up to now, various media have been used to store our memories in a wealth of information. The average life expectancy of an inscription on a stone is 10,000 years. On parchment, 1,000 years. On film, 100 years. On vinyl, 50 years. With computers, our memory is facing an unexpected vulnerability. Some technologies have already disappeared. This uncertainty is especially troubling in that we have opted to make everything digital, believing that our data would remain retrievable for a long time. Yet not a single digital medium has managed to achieve long-term success. Will we be able to ensure the longevity of our digital data? Or is this data doomed to disappear sooner or later? With the advent of widespread computer use, our data is now written in binary code. This code, which offers an infinite number of combinations, is based on combinations of two numbers, 0 and 1. These are the only messages that our computers know how to interpret. Our memory storage systems have changed. They are interconnected and dematerialized, and now hold our personal, medical, scientific, technical, and administrative information. How are we going to be able to transmit an increasingly massive and complex digital heritage? Yet in the 1980s, we thought we had discovered the secrets of an eternal medium. And now, watch this disc closely. In principle, this is the disc of the future, a digital disc nearly indestructible. It is never in contact with any other object as a laser scans and reads its surface. No microgrooves, an indestructible 12 centimeter disc. Marketed as the avant-garde digital medium, the CD soon captured the market for data storage. The CD was small and supposedly totally reliable. Libraries, archives, individuals, everyone adopted this new medium. The laser of a CD drive decodes the digital data on the disk. If we look at the surface of a CD, enlarged 4,500 times, the engraved message appears clearly. The zeros of the binary code appear as ridges and pits, and the ones are produced by the intervals between these ridges and pits. But in 2003, researchers at the National Laboratory of Metrology and Testing in Paris sounded the alarm. Initially, when the idea of looking at disks arose in the 2000s, we were merely trying to assess the quality of CD recordings, which was a problem. After conducting a check one year after testing the recording quality of a disk, we were very surprised to see that we did not retrieve anything like the results we had been expecting. The disk had completely changed, and we noted loss of data on the disk. This was really a surprise because the disk was expected to last 100 years, according to the manufacturers. The researchers started to look at the thin metal layer containing the ridges and pits that conveyed the data contained on the CD. They examined the discs, made by different brands, under an electronic microscope. Several of them had similar anomalies. Even if you store your CDR in a closed cabinet protected from light and any other external damage, you can lose data by particles that were introduced when the disc was manufactured. Here, in fact, we can see an oxidized particle. This oxidization can even pierce the metal layer of the CDR and destroy your data. The 
These unwanted particles can sometimes destroy data on a CD in just one year. We are a long way from the promises made in the early years to the point where it is questionable as to whether CDs are suitable as long-term storage media. To find out, Jacques Perderot and his staff tested hundreds of discs via a process of artificial aging. These CDs were exposed to high levels of humidity and temperatures. The results speak for themselves. They demonstrate that in certain cases, the ink of the labels glued to the CD can seep through the thickness of the disc and damage the metal layer containing the digital data. In the long term, CDs turn out to be fragile, unstable medium. These tests determine the estimated life expectancy for CDs. The average life expectancy of a CD is fairly hard to determine. What we saw through sampling several collections was that nearly 15% of the CDs had a life expectancy of around one to five years, while the other 85% could last more than 20 years. The laboratory conclusions were irrefutable. Today, CDs are no longer considered to be reliable as long-term storage media. What about the hard drives that most of us use to store our data? They form the core of a computer's memory. Every day, they record massive quantities of digital data thanks to a technique that is both ingenious and precise. A hard drive consists of a set of circular platters that revolve at high speed. The rotation of these disks create an airflow maintaining the magnetic reed head at an infinitesimal distance from the surface. Relatively speaking, this corresponds to a Concorde flying at full speed one meter above the ground. You can see that the smallest chunk, the tiniest piece of dust, which is large in relation to the distance between the head and the platter, will be catastrophic. Once the head has touched the platter, the hard drive is dead because the head is stuck to the platter via molecular bonding. Hard drives are vulnerable to shock and are not entirely safe from dust and impurities. Manufacturers therefore cannot guarantee them for more than five years. Do the flash memory in our cameras and USB flash drives offer a more reliable alternative? USB flash drives, SSDs, as well as the flash cards used in cameras, for example, raise another problem in that they have a finite number of read-write cycles. The number of read-write cycles is quite large, up to 100,000, but in computer systems, these 100,000 cycles are reached fairly quickly. If, however, you use a USB drive, an SSD, or a flash card for archive purposes, in other words, you record your data on it and then store the device, then it's entirely possible to keep the information for a dozen years. 